Carolina Sports here with Michelle the Dagger Blanchard of uh, Wow. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> wow, women uh, of wrestling. Yeah, definitely. Um, Want to ask you? Uh, you're here at uh, the Paradise Warriors retreat uh, with Tony Ferguson, uh, Alan Joban. Tell us about this event. Yeah, so I'm hosting the Paradise Warrior retreat. We have Alan Joban and Tony Ferguson, some two top fighters that I've had a chance to train with um, at Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu, as well as Muay Thai kickboxing at Saxons. Both technical fighters. I mean, you can't beat their knowledge. Um, Alan comes from a very strong stand-up. You've seen him do knockouts with his elbows, the cartwheel kick, some amazing technique he taught here. And if you haven't seen Tony Ferguson's, check out my episode, The Hooks MMA with Tony Ferguson. You'll catch some of the stuff he taught here. But there's no one like Tony who can transition the wrestling, the jujitsu, and the stand-up and combine it and give you such technique that you're going to confuse your opponent. They won't even know what's coming at you. So, Tony has a huge fight coming up against Khabib, uh, Margaret Menoff. Tell us about that fight. How do you see that matchup playing? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm so excited about it. I'm glad that Tony's finally getting that chance at the title. He's put so many people out, you know. Um, it's just, I, I don't think that Khabib's going to know what's coming at him. You know, he's going to be surprising him. You know, is it going to be wrestling? Is it going to be striking? Is it going to be jiu-jitsu? You know what? It's going to be all of it. <laughs> so watch out. I'll tell you, Tony's coming for you. Talk about how different Tony style is. It's very unorthodox. You yeah. see, so I'm sure the training is, is completely unorthodox from what maybe you're used to. T yeah. Speak on that a little bit. Yeah. So, Tony's training is definitely unorthodox. Nothing like you've ever seen before. Like I said, check out my episode, The Hooks MMA with Tony Ferguson. He'll, he'll show you how he's, how to defend the Russian tie down with his Tasmanian devil technique. <laughs> like spinning moves you've never seen before. And then all of a sudden he has you in something you never even heard of, but he'll finish you. So you gotta check it out. You won't know what's coming at you with Tony. So definitely check it out. I want to ask you, uh, as a fight fan, yeah. Tyrone Woodley versus uh, Wonderboy Thompson. Yeah. Um, talk, let's talk about the first fight and, and how do you see the second fight playing out? So, Tyrone Woodley and Wonderboy Thompson, I love both those fighters. Wonderboy's style and um, he knows how to keep his distance, is using his kicks and using that martial arts background. Tyrone Woodley, is that's a beast out there. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that, but that, he's got such finesse and technique, but such a strong power guy that it's scary. I was really impressed by that first fight, though. Um, Woodley really, you know, hung in there and really gave him a run for his money. Um, but I have to say, the second fight, I love Wonder Boy, but I think it's going to go to Tyrone. <laughs> it's it's funny. I asked uh, Alan the same thing, and he he felt that after the first fight, that if anyone learned anything more, it was Tyrone. That he yeah. what, what what is it about the first fight? Do you feel that 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 he now has the edge in the rematch? Well. I just think Tyrone is a little more rounded with um, the types of styles that he's trained in. So Wonder Boy has a style that I don't think it, people are familiar with. So, you know, that martial arts and the different types of kicking, if you're not sure how to adjust to that distance and you're not used to that, then it's going to give someone a little bit of difficulty at first. But I think once you kind of figure out and learn how to put your style into it, I think Tyrone have kind of figured it out and be able to adjust and play more his game and stay in tighter. And I think in a tighter, closer um, situation, that's going to be Tyrone's match. Play, play matchmaker for me. Obviously, those two fights in that card with Tony and, and, and T. Wood are, are great matchups already, the best fighting the best. But if you could put two fighters together to make the dream matchup for you this year, what would that be? Well, one fight that I was looking forward to that was supposed to happen, and one might be partial because Uriah Hall is a friend of mine, um, was Uriah Hall, which is also someone I think gets overlooked, but an amazing fighter, totally different style and technique, um, with uh, Silva. So that was a fight I was really looking forward to. I know that um, Uriah Hall actually looks up to Silva too, and so to actually be able to test against someone he's seen and seen how um, his style and looked up to, I was really hoping for that match, so hopefully they'll put that match together one more time. And I want to ask you, a lot of talks have been made recently of Conor McGregor entering a boxing ring against Floyd Mayweather. What do you think about that? How does that end up playing out if that ever happens? Well, Conor McGregor and Floyd... <laughs> It's Floyd all day, all day, every day. I love Connor. Um, he can, you know, the one thing I love about Connor is people don't like how he shit talks, but he can back it up and then he's humble enough to accept his defeat, learn from it, and move on. So you have to give him much respect. 
but with Floyd, I, I don't even I can't I don't even, I can't, I don't even know what to say with that. Floyd all day. Floyd all day. <laughs> uh, we you were with uh, Wow Women of Wrestling. Uh, we saw you guys at uh, the Glory Kickboxing. When's the next event? When are you fighting? Yeah, okay. again? Or wrestling? So, again? Yeah. So Wow Women of Wrestling, All Pro Women's Wrestling League. Um, we were at Glory Kickboxing. We got to demonstrate some of our stuff that we got. A lot of fun. We're characters on the dagger. So you got you don't want to miss out. Our next big show will be in downtown LA at the Velasco May 11th. So come check it out. Tell, well, how'd you get the dagger? How'd you get the nickname? My nickname, the dagger, comes from my Muay Thai background. So not only do I have a love affair of weapons, which I collect weapons, don't give me flowers on Valentine's, knives, swords, guns. <laughs> I'm all Ninja down stars, about it. Yeah. <laughs> Ninja stars. <laughs> but um, I got the name, the dagger, because I also transform my body into a weapon. So the edges of my forearms, the edges of my shins, the points of my elbows, points of my knees, those are my blades. So watch out. Well, I'm Get out of here before I get cut. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. Appreciate it and uh, looking forward to seeing you in May. Yeah, great talking to you. Thank you.